How to blog. Many internet trends have come and gone in the blink of an eye over the past 20 years. Not so with blogging. Blogging became a very popular way of expressing one's ideas and thoughts with people all over the world from very early on in the digital revolution, and it has never lost that attraction. Today, there are all kinds of blogs on the internet, from lifestyle blogs showcasing travel, food, and culture, to business blogs discussing economics, industry, and global markets. Seth Godin, the marketing guru, runs one of the most popular blogs out there today one which logs an average of over a half a million readers per month. Unsurprisingly, his readership is highly diverse, with a strong following from freelancers and marketers to white-collar workers and market strategists, each of whom are looking to better boost their earning potential and expand their businesses by learning from one of the best in the modern industry. But what can we learn from Godin about the art of blogging itself? First and foremost, Godin stresses that the number one rule of hosting one's own blog is to write regularly, revise, and then repeat. Mistakes are okay. In fact, they're even a good thing when you learn from them and grow as a result. Make sure you pick out the positives and negatives from every post and take the reviews and views into consideration while writing the next post. Godin's second key rule is to make sure you write every day or nearly every day. Never give up. Every skill requires practice and patience, and nothing worth getting good at is achieved overnight. Hence, if you feel like your writing is not great right now, just keep practicing. Write at least one blog post each day, and you will soon see the improvement. The key is to not let yourself become disheartened. Keep writing, and eventually those views will start to increase. Godin's third key rule is more controversial. Many bloggers allow readers to comment on what they've written. Godin doesn't. The argument here is that leaving readers' comments on your blog can lead to negative comments and heated debates, ones which will rob the blogger of not just his time, but her energy as well. There are many other ideas to keep in mind according to Godin when you've entered the world of blogging. Pay attention to the world around you and try to find topics that interest people but haven't been discussed a lot. This will make your content stand out. Write about what motivates you and the things which you are interested in. Your writing should reflect your passions and that will transfer into engaging content. Plan ahead. Always know where your blog is going over the next few weeks so there is continuity to your threads. And don't dwell on making money from your blog it is possible to make money through blogging, but if that is the primary goal of your blog, your content might well suffer. Finally, make your blog a reflection of you. It's your space to be creative. Use it as such.